I don't speak Bulgarian yet, so I can't tell you what this place was, but the images should at least give you an idea what it used once may have looked like. All of this is in Bulgarian. And it looks a little interesting from a distance, but I haven't shown you what's fascinating about this place yet. So just to give you an overview of the outside. And the light may not be the best here. This is obviously an old, old site. According to this plaque, this project, the Stoma Road from the Neolit to the Early Christianity, transmission of contacts between Aegea and the Balkans. Ah, so maybe this is the English translation. So we're going to go inside and explore the interior of this great building. And again, this is in Sandansky, Bulgaria. So we're going to go down some stairs. And again, the light is not so great from here, but we can still make up details as we get closer in. And these are some of the old, old architectural style. You can see the rocks. Here's a detail. These are rocks. And they may be faded over time, or this may have been the material that was used to hold the rocks and the bricks in place. This is one interior shot to the outside, which I just showed you, but just to give you another image. And there are several archways like this as we go through. It's going to give you a little glimpse. Here is a window. And again, you're not really going to be able to appreciate what you're seeing without being here. My camera can only capture so much. But when history calls on us to share it at least a little bit, original rafters, the beams, and, there, and it is kind of high. <laughs> Here's another archway, the view to the outside. You can step over these little stone structures. And again, another view side of the building here um, that sort of juts out a little bit. I don't know if you can see really the details here. Ah, I think that's a good view. This is exciting to be here and to observe this and share it. But it's not my favorite part yet. But still, I need to take you a little bit to the side here just to show you some of... We're going to go inside that house before the end of the video. Another view. And this is all part of this structure. So you can walk up. We're going to go back down. Here's the view a little bit from the side.
And there are two ways around. We could come up through here. And this will take us through this entrance. We can also enter it, I believe. Yes. <laughs> from around this direction. So this is coming from the outside. I believe this may have been an old well, though I can't be certain. It's also covered over with rocks now. And another view of the outside. Um, well, maybe this was a hallway. And maybe what we went through was an anterior chamber. I'm not sure how the Romans designed their buildings. And I don't have that background to share. So this is a view if we had chosen to come in from the entrance I, t I told you about. And this is the inside of a house. Or I'm not sure if it was a house. Maybe it was a warehouse. We definitely. Oh, no. I was thinking those were logs. There's a lot of logs in Bulgaria. But this is actual stone against the wall. Just a glimpse. We're going to show you. I'm going to show you more of this. We are going to see it if you're watching this video. We're seeing it together. You can see a little bit outside. And as I said, you can walk around in here. Um, if you're not comfortable with sand, you might want to wear some tennis shoes. I'm wearing sandals. So I'm getting sand in my shoes, which is fine. There was a lot of conflict and wars in Bulgaria over the centuries. If I remember, the Byzantine Empire was established in uh, 1014. It lasted about 200 years, circa 1286, maybe 87. The Turks took over Bulgaria in 1393. But while much of this is destroyed, there's still, you can see, quite a bit remaining. Part that we just passed. This appears to be a kind of a circular design. This is wonderful to watch. When the video goes off, I will spend some more time exploring and maybe sitting here. This is great inspiration, I think, for me. And this is a site of interest for archaeologists, for Roman historians. For anyone with an interest in history, this is the kind of place, Sandanski, Bulgaria, that you want to come to, to see imprints of history, rather than just looking at them in history books. This is just amazing details that you can see in person. And I'm so glad I came here and take advantage of Bulgarians here. Uh, find English-speaking ones, find ones that speak a little English, and they will tell you places you should go to. Sandansky was a place that was recommended to me. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Bulgarians are great people for the most part.
and they have just an awesome grasp of history. It has been exciting talking with people about Bulgarian history. And we're going to kind of go in, so I'm just going to show you this is this round structure. We're going to go down, and I'm also looking at the clock, trying to not pass 15 minutes. So this is the inside of a circular structure. Just to give you a better view of what's here. But this is awesome. Super, as the Bulgarians might say. I think even the Turks say super. Not sure. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in Istanbul. So there are different ways in. More details. This is a wall. You can see parts where were broken. But that's one of the great things I love about Bulgaria. They preserve history. They don't try to change it to make it look nice. Which makes these ruins even more exciting. Get my hand and my foot in more sand, which is good. <laughs> but again, this is an interior view. And I think we can go in. Maybe. I think we have a couple of minutes. Ah, I am looking over the ledge. Here we go. To see inside, so here's where I was on the outer rim. You can see the the ring around that. So it's a kind of a circular design. I'm not sure what this may have been. And actually, I want to learn more. So if I can find someone who can share a little bit more about these historical sites of interest, I will happily feed on that knowledge. Almost at the conclusion of this video. I know this is a long one. So if you get the opportunity and you love things like this, history, come to Sandanski Pulgardia. This is definitely one place you need to be if you only have one trip to Bulgaria. Oh, I can't believe I've been here. <laughs>